Hi, hello and welcome back to another video by me and this time I have something exciting to do because as some of you know maybe from my Instagram and from on here because I talk about it every now and then I've been working on a project for quite long now uh, like on the planning part, on the designing part, on everything and this time we're actually gonna work on it together you've seen me like do some things here and now, here and there that's the <laughs> way you say it so this time we're actually gonna do a whole page together because we're gonna draw a comic page together and I'm really excited because I've been storing this comic page for quite long uh, because I wanted to draw it together with you and now is the time to do it and yeah, I'm just gonna show you my process and how I'm doing it because I'm not a professional. This is the first time I'm making it. I'm not using like the professional webcomic manga tools that everyone uses. I'm just kind of winging it and doing what I'm usually most comfortable with <laughs> because I was like, I'm not gonna struggle with all these new tools. For now, I'm just gonna do what I usually do for illustrations and like change it a little bit. Uh, to do this comic thing. So yeah, let's draw a comic page together and in the voiceover I'm gonna explain a little bit about my process so maybe if you want to start something and are a little bit intimidated by so many new tools maybe my process can help you a little bit to see it maybe in a little bit less intimidating way and maybe start your own little comic page even if it's like just a few pages long. It's fun to do that, it's fun to get your stories out there. So yeah, uh, let's talk no further and let's get into the video so I can actually explain what I'm doing. If you actually have some tips that you know, tell me too because uh, <laughs> I need them. <laughs> but yeah, let, let's get into it. So, first things first, I'm using my iPad for basically everything. I like the portable aspect of it, I like that I can just work on the comic on the go and I'm using Procreate which I just feel most comfortable with because I've been using it for the past three years and I like the brushes on there that I have collected and I just thought it's the best option for me right now for this project because I knew I would just like be somewhere else and I know I have to finish this project in like very soon so um, I just decided to use my iPad and do the things that I'm familiar with. I know that there's Clip Studio Paint and I have it and I have used it I think since I was 16 or 17 so I'm also very familiar with it but I haven't used it for a few years now and like I only have it on PC I know there's an app for it but I don't like the monthly pay since I have it on PC like for the full price they bought it back then so yeah I, I don't know there were a lot of things um, that just made me gravitate towards the iPad but I did do the speech bubbles and the whole like panel layouts with Clip Studio Paint because that just felt more comfortable there but I'm sure it's also like completely manageable to do that and procreate or whatever um, drawing program you feel most comfortable with because I feel like this is one of the intimidating parts at the beginning of doing like a comic or something like if you really need one of those like professional programs for that and I like I said I just do it in Procreate and it's all fine so yeah um, so to start the comic I actually just did like very very basic sketches for whatever I had in mind because I already had the story written down I had a lot of the characters already designed so that's when I kind of started uh, making these very very rough sketches of how I want everything to be so that was my first process you saw that in the beginning it's like just like this kind of mannequin shape thing so um, what I did after that is um, that I just did a second sketch, I felt confident at first. I thought like, I don't need uh, the second sketch. I'm just gonna draw over it and it's gonna be clean. And it's like, I like this kind of like sketchy look. So I thought I'm just gonna leave it like that, but it didn't work. It was too sketchy. So um, I did a ske second sketch just over it. 
and that's what you see me doing here. Um, not here specifically, but with Daniel, the character that's in this scene. Um, but with the books and everything else, I just, I just already did the line art. You can see me like using all these like very clean lines um, because they're just like how do I describe that shapes. So I felt more comfortable with just um, making like a straight line and making it look like a book. Uh, if that makes sense and the same is gonna be with the background that's also why i s chose like this specific page because there's a lot of like details there's a detail shot there's like a character shot um to show you like the process of everything that i make and in the end you're also gonna see me do a background um which i will explain further in a second because i think it will come on in a second but um yeah just you can see on the left i have already this really clean thing uh, that i freehanded and then daniel is still kind of sketchy but for the background which i wanted to talk about uh, i thought i'm gonna get into 3d building more with this project which i still plan to do um i wanted to use blender for this actually but i looked at the time that i have for this project and i just decided to make it a little easier for me so i just went to my parents basement and i have a lot of old games there um and one of the games i found was sims 3. so i basically built all my backgrounds like kind of the like rough shape of everything how i want everything to to like be in a room and like just really rough um like I just built that in there and I took screenshots of everything just so I can roughly like figure out the the perspective and where everything should be and that everything is uh, kind of proportional. I did obviously like change a few things. I took like my creative freedom to like add some things and uh, make it more look like a room of the character like I added pictures and like for him specifically because um spoiler um he's a demon uh he turned the like crucifix that's in this uh, dorm room uh he turned it around because he's a demon so he didn't like it the right side up <laughs> kind of so um that's basically how i did the backgrounds and honestly it was so easy because you can just like do whatever and then you draw over it and when you have the basics done you can just add anything because i think next to the bed i just added like a different like cupboard to it and everything because i felt like it was still a little empty and but like i had the shape down for like where the bed is and where the uh, chair is and where the uh, table is and everything's proportional and <laughs> A thing, I mean, now that I see it, a thing that I really, really, um, like, why did I do that to myself? <laughs> why did I do that to myself? I have so many bookshelves in this. There's a whole scene where they are just in the library. Um, and I still have to draw all of these books. So um, I did that to myself. But yeah, you can see me just draw those in and that takes a while. So if I have a tip, uh, either you have like a brush with like a lot of books or if you have to draw everything like me, avoid bookshelves because I know they look cool, but <laughs> but it's, it's such a pain. But yeah, I'm doing that and I'm trying my best here. But yeah, I just, because I had a different scene, that's why I like flipped to the other page. Um, I just drew that in the other page because it was bigger there and I just had to resize it here. Um, so then I drew Daniel in there and that's basically that. Here also like in this kind of like chibi form, I felt like I didn't need um, a sketch, a second sketch. So I just drew him like that with like line art. I had some so much trouble with his butt. I don't know why. <laughs> It's just a butt. I could have just drawn it, but for some reason I struggled. But yeah. And the last step for this is adding the line art. So it's basically like 
as soon as the whole layout was done and the whole like backgrounds and everything and the idea is set and I already did my sketch um, it's just like normal illustration so I just do the line art like I do usually um, with my illustrations and also that's why I didn't uh, draw the um, like the colors in this video yet because I didn't draw them yet and this is all like I'm, I still have to color everything uh, but yeah if you are wondering about my coloring process it's pretty much like I do all my illustrations um, just a little more sketchy I use the airbrush a little more I think but anything else is like just color blocking and putting some some like blush and shadows in there with airbrush so that's basically it that's my process and i hope it helped you it's very simple but very effective i would say anyway that's it for this video thanks for watching and take care of yourself and see you in the next video bye bye